No. We're not holding out any hope. I was a supporter of him in the primary, but I don't think he's got a chance in the as a writing candidate. I don't. Um, I would have liked, I voted for Venti uh, in the primary, and I would have liked to see him stick around. Um, but no, I, I don't think any write-in candidate generally has that much of a shot. So. Okay. And I don't know how he can win, but uh, I'm going to make my point known. I don't think they've had a lot of, like, I haven't heard anything about it other than a phone call I got. Um, but I think a lot of people are going to do it. I don't know if it'll be successful. Depends on who all comes out, I guess. Um, as an election official, uh, I I can't really comment on it. As a DC voter um, and as a person with common sense, I think write-in campaigns generally are not successful. And write-in campaigns in which the candidate is not interested in, <laughs> in seeking the office are probably even less successful. I don't think uh, Mayor Fenty uh, has any illusions about what's going to happen today. He, he, he's conceded. Yeah. He's working with the transition team. That's pretty much all you need to know. And I think we were becoming... It was a tale of two cities. It's the have and the have-nots, and I think that needs to change. And you, what do you think Gray will do to help change that? Um, I think he's a consensus builder. I think he proved that as a city, as the chair of the city council. Um, he listens to people, and I think he believes in the legislative body and not just the executive branch, which is what Mayor Fenty stood for. He is, he's endorsed Gray, for one thing. So, But I also don't think he's going to get the votes. I don't think it's going to happen. I think if any write-in is not, not viable. 